So, uh, here's the Coptic curriculum for St. Stephen's class, grades 3 to 5. Uh, lesson 1. And, uh, you can just sort of like, there will be a pause between the lessons, so you can take one new lesson every day. So, uh, lesson 1. The first letter we have is alpha. Uh, looks like that. And it always sounds like A, like A. Or A, as in art. And it's always that uh, A sound. The next letter is Vita, and it looks kind of like a B, and it can sound like a B or a V. Now, how do you know if it's a B or a V? It's always a B unless it's followed by one of the vowels, and if it's followed by one of the vowels, it's a V. Then we have A. It looks kind of like an E, and it always sounds like E. Now we have Zeta. It always looks kind of like a Z, and it always sounds like a Z. Now we have Yota. It looks like an I, and it can sound like an I or a Y. Now uh, it'll always sound like an I, unless it's at and unless it's the first letter in the word. And if it's the first letter in the word, it sounds like a Y. Now I have Kappa. It looks like a K. It sounds like a K. And it only ever sounds like a K. Now I have May. It looks like this. And it always sounds like an M. And then Nay looks like an N. And it sounds like an N. Now we have O, it always looks like an O, and it sounds like an O, like the A. Now we have Sima, and this, it looks like a C in English, but it always makes the S sound. So it'll always sound like S. Now we have Tav, and it looks like a T, uh, it looks like a capital T in English. And it always sounds like a T. Like ta. Then we have O. And this looks sort of like that. And it always sounds like oo. It always makes a long oo sound. Now we have Ita. And it looks like an H. But it always sounds like E. So this always sounds like E. And K looks like an S. It looks like an X. But it sounds like K or SH. Now it will always sound like K unless it's followed by the A or the Eta. So if it has anything that makes a short E or a long E after it, it's an SH. Otherwise, it's always a K. Now we have Rho. And Rho looks like a P, but it sounds like an R. And it's always R. Now we have Gamma. Looks like that. And it can sound like a G or an N. Now, gamma will always sound like a G unless there are two gammas. And then the first one sounds like an N. So here, this is ng. Like, angelos is two gammas. But all the, unless it's followed by a G, a gamma, it'll sound like a G. Now we have delta. And it always sounds like a D. And Lola. Lola and Delta look similar, but here, if you look, the bottom of the letter is open for Lola, and it's closed for Delta, and Lola always sounds like an L.
Now we have P. It looks sort of like this uh, staple shape, and it always sounds like a P, like a P. And Hori, it looks like a backwards S in English, but it always sounds like a like an H. Now Jenja, it can sound like a G or a J, and it always makes the G sound, the G sound. Unless it's followed by a, yota, or ita. Now we have shy. It looks sort of like the u, but it has the little tail at the end. And this always sounds like an sh, like a sh. Now we have theta. It looks like the o with the line in the middle. And it can sound like a th or a t. And it's always a th, except if it's followed by epsilon, tav, me, or sima. Then it, then it sounds like a t. Now we have fe, and it sounds like an f. Now we have Epsi, and it's kind. It looks kind of like Fe, but Fe, you see, it has the circle going around, and then it stops. And Epsi, it's it's different. It has this sort of a U shape, and it sounds like a P S, uh, together. So it's like ps. So when you see Epsi, it's ps. Now Phi. It looks like a backwards P, but the top is uh, not connected, and it will always sound like an F. Just like the Fe, it's Phi, and it always sounds like F. Now we have T, and this is different than Tav. You can see it has the little line sticking up at the end of it, and it always sounds like a long T. Instead of, so Tav sounds like Ta, T. Sounds like T. When you read it, you read this as T. Now we have Su. And this, this is not a letter. It's the number 6. So when you read this, you just say 6. Now we have Xi. And it looks here like the Zeta. But it has a little extra part in the middle. And whenever you see this X-y, it always sounds like an X. Like a K or X. Now we have Epsilon. Sort of, it looks sort of like this. And it can sound like a V, an U, or an E. Now if it follows Alpha or A, it sounds like a V. So that would be av or ev. It sounds like a v. Then if it sounds like an o, if it follows an o, it sounds like an u. So if it, if you have o epsilon, it's u. Any other time, it's an e, like e. Okay, and now we have chai, and the big one. The capital letter looks kind of like a B, and the lowercase letter looks like that. And it will always sound like KH, like CHA. And the last letter is CHIMA. And uh, CHIMA, it looks kind of like, uh, like a 6 in English. And it always makes the CHA sound.